Hello, I'm Dr. Parikh with Escape Family Dental in Roseville, a general dental office. Hey, uh, I wanted to talk to you about an interesting topic that very often uh, uh, our patients ask me, and that is halitosis. So uh, one day a parent came to me and he told me that my son has the worst case of dragon breath. I'm like, dragon breath? I, and I, um, I asked him and he's like, he just has a bad mouth. I mean, he just the smell stinks really badly. And it uh, happens that, you know, I looked up some uh, literature and dragon breath is a very common term used for halitosis. So that's what we're going to talk about, halitosis, bad breath. Uh, there are a lot of reasons why a person would have bad breath or, uh, you know, bad breath or dragon breath. And... Uh, could be as simple as uh, you know eating certain kind of foods to something something all the way to something that is very involved or something that has uh, related to medical condition to patient of patients so let's talk about some of these causes and uh, the first and the most common is bacteria uh, the bacteria that causes bad breath they basically our, our mouth is a very nice environment for this bacteria to stay. You know, it's warm, slimy, so most of the bacteria, they easily develop and stay on our tongues and mouths, and that's why there's bad odor every, as soon as, like, within few minutes or few, within few hours of our brushing the teeth, uh, you know, you start developing that bad odor. Uh, that's the first reason. Uh, the second reason is, uh, uh, Obviously, food. You know, there are a lot of foods and onions, garlic uh, uh, that are bad. Bad, you know, that produces bad food. But we, I'm not going to go too much detail into that. The third one is smoking. We all know that smoking can cause bad breath. So that is also something to uh, to uh, to note. The fourth reason for a uh, typical reason for bad breath is gum disease. A lot of time, you know, if you're not taking good care of your teeth, if you're not coming to uh, doctors of uh, hygiene appointments routinely and you develop something that is either gingivitis or periodontitis, you have, uh, you can, can have bad breath. Um, so a gum disease, that's the reason for bad breath as well. Uh, other reason that is very common is dry mouth. The dry mouth is a condition where a lot of people, they do have dry mouth. It could be related to some issue with salivary glands in the mouth, or it could be uh, it could be that the patient's having dry mouth because of uh, multiple medications that they are on. All of these, they do cause dry mouth, okay? Uh, so the last, I think I I think I covered pretty much all of the all of this. And yes, last and not the least is the medical conditions, patients' medical condition. Uh, you know, if you're a doctor or if you come to me, and if I have ruled out all the top five reasons uh, of, and they are none of these are related to you, then the final is the medical condition. You must be having some kind of kidney or liver disease or diabetes that could relate to bad breath. So now that we have talked about various reasons about what causes bad breath, let's dive into how we can fix those problems, okay? Um, so let's talk about these uh, solutions. Number one, good old brushing and flossing, right? So you need to brush and floss. There's, there's no doubts about it. There's no doubt about it. Brushing and flossing, they definitely help keep your mouth clean, get that bad odor out of your mouth, right? Uh, a lot of my patients ask about mouthwash. Now, this is my opinion about mouthwash. Now, you can use a mouthwash as a quick and temporary way to fix the bad breath, but it's not a long-lasting way, okay? It might probably last you for half an hour, hour, maybe a couple hours, but that's about it. Um, so that's the mouthwash. Now, what is the most important thing that's going to really help you with this bad breath is something that's called tongue scraper. Now, we heard about brush, floss, uh, you know, mouthwash, but not a lot of people are familiar with something that is called tongue scraper. Now, you'd be surprised to know that the bacteria that causes the bad breath, they actually, they lie on the back part of our tongue. So that's where they are situated. You know, all the food that we eat, it, those bacteria breaks down those food and produces some gas, and that gas causes bad breath. Right? So until and unless we don't clean that, scrape our tongue off, uh, 
you're still gonna have bad breath. And this is one thing that most of the people kind of underestimated. Uh, one of the patients I was talking to, I gave him this advice, use the mouthwash. And a few days later, I met him and he's like, you will not believe it. I brushed the teeth, floss the teeth, everything. And at the very last, I scraped my tongue and you won't believe the junk that came out of the tongue scraper. And those tongue scrapers are not expensive. You can buy the tongue scraper at any local pharmacy. Uh, I think the pack of two is probably $3 or $5. They're not expensive at all and you can buy that. So those are called tongue scrapers. When you come to your next hygiene appointment, ask our hygienists. We do have some, uh, some we, can, uh, we can give it to you. So yeah, stun paper is a big, big, uh, big imp uh, important thing that you need to focus on. Uh, maybe you need to add that to your hygiene routine, brush, floss, scrape your tongue, okay? All right, so the other thing we're gonna talk about is dry mouth. What are we gonna do about this dry mouth scenario, right? Um, now, try to eat food that are more chewy food, more healthy fruits, carrots, apples. When you eat those foods, it produces more saliva. The second thing is check with your doctor. Uh, you know, most of the time I've noticed that if the patients are on multiple different medications, or especially I've also noticed like blood pressure med medications, those patients have side effect of dry mouth. So you might want to check with your doctor to see if there is any way they can change the medication to something else, because this is what's going to happen. You, you might think dry mouth is not such a, such a big deal or, hey, you know what's going to happen? I'm just going to have bad breath, but that's not it. Dry mouth can cause serious problems down the li line. You know, bad breath is just one thing. Dry mouth can lead to a lot of decay. Saliva in our mouth is a natural cleanser. You know, it just cleanses all the stuff out of our mouth, especially all the food that we eat. If you, the saliva kind of cleanses everything out. And if you don't have saliva in your mouth, guess what? The stuff is the black and the stuff is gonna stay on your teeth and it's gonna start producing cavities. So I have noticed, I have had few patients that come in and suddenly I notice, hey, you know what, like I saw you like a year back and you have, you, you're you good and now suddenly out of nowhere you have like 10, 15 cavities. Why is that? And and the reason is simple. You know, these people, they do have, uh, they have, I mean, I did eventually after interrogating with them found out that those patients, hey, uh, they have been placed on certain blood pressure medications or they have changed their uh, they have changed the medications they are taking and the react and the and the reaction to that is their mouth is dry. Okay, so just check on to that. So we talked about those two things, uh, stun scraper, dry mouth. The third thing uh, I would I like to go over is the gum disease. Periodontitis is definitely linked to bad odor. Periodontitis is basically infection of the gum. So you know, when you, you know, if you have a scrape on your hand or a scrape on your foot, you know, it's going to bleed. Anytime it bleeds, it gives you an alarm, right? Your alarm. Why is it bleeding? Why are you not worried when you brush your teeth and your mouth bleeds? I'm surprised. A lot of patients, when they brush their teeth or gums, their mouth bleeds, they are not alarmed. That is the first sign of gingivitis or periodontitis. If and if it's not taken care of, it's going to lead to abscess in the mouth and halitosis and all of that, okay? So please take this seriously. A gingivitis or periodontitis in your mouth is like having a, a open wound the size of a palm, okay? You know, you will have a small little open wound on the foot or a hand, you are alarmed, but in the mouth when you're having periodontitis or gingivitis, it's like having an open wound the size of your palm, okay? So you have to be careful about that. All right, so we talked about that. Um, for, the other thing is, if you're wearing dentures, like if you're wearing uh, partial dentures, full dentures, night guards, uh, you have to make sure that you take it, obviously you want to take it out, uh, the, in partial dentures and dentures, you want to take it out at night. The night guard, you want to take it out in the morning, right? Uh, the thing is, with these partial dentures, how do you brush them? You know, if you brush them with toothpaste, you're actually producing microscopic uh, kind of uh, lines, like you know, microscopic scratches on the dentures. So those scratches, they harbor bacteria, 
and those bacteria they are not cleaned properly and they can go ahead and produce bad odor i just had a patient that told me that after wearing his night guard for a year or so it just stung and i asked him what was the reason and he told me that you know what he had been uh, He's like, I'm keeping it very clean. I use toothbrush, paste to clean it. And I'm like, that's the reason. You cannot use toothpaste to clean your night guards or dentures because that toothpaste is very abrasive. It produces scratches. That's where bacteria harbors and produces bad breath. Okay, so if you're wearing if you're wearing your dentures, you have to make sure you the way you're cleaning it, you have to be careful about that. Uh, number two, you have to take it outside at night. Don't wear dentures at night. Uh, so how do you clean these dentures and stuff? You can use the denture cleaning tablets that is available over the counter, or you could just use, uh, uh, you know, for night guards, I often tell you, you use some warm salt water. Uh, no, it's not warm salt water, but uh, warm water and soap, just regular over-the-counter soap, just go ahead and clean it without, uh, without toothpaste. You can use brush to clean it, but just not toothpaste. All right, so I think, uh, and last thing is medical conditions. Hey, you know what, if we have ruled out all of this and you still have bad breath, then you please go ahead and make sure you check with your doctor. There should be something going on. Um, so I hope this was an informative, uh, informative session about halitosis. If there is, uh, uh, most of the thing that I covered today, you can find that out at American Dental Association's website. It's a very informative website. Uh, you can uh, get a lot of updated information over there. All right, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you at your next hygiene appointment. Thank you.